Hi everyone, my name's Lauren from Club Doncaster Foundation. I'm joined here today by Jess and Olivia. Now, these two girls used to take part in the Kicks Girl session, obviously before lockdown hit. So, um, the, the point of today's interview is, obviously, it's time to talk day on the 4th of Feb. So, we as a foundation try to raise awareness around mental health and get people talking. Um, we'd like to do stuff face to face, but unfortunately we can't during the pandemic. So we decided to do a little interview and just see how lockdown is affecting everyone in different ways and what sort of challenges they face and how they've overcome them. So we'll start off with the first question, girls. I'm going to start off with Jess. Um, how has lockdown affected you, Jess, yourself and your day to day life? Well, with um, my day-to-day -day life, it's like you can't go to school, you can't go see your mates, you can't go see close family members and friends. So it's just like making you like really down that you can't go, you can't go and like see anyone. You can't do and you can't go and do stuff that you love like football. You can't do and go out and do that and play with your football team anymore. How's that making you feel then, Jess? It's like. Making me like feel like really down that you can't go and spend time with people that you love, people who you love to play sports with. Um, but so it's not like making me feel down now. Once we put all these stuff in place, like we're doing the stuff at home all the time, so like it's boosted it up a bit, but not massively. Obviously, I'd still rather go out, play with my mates, and do all that rather than be at home, but we can't do that. Yeah, definitely. Olivia, what about yourself? Similar to Jess, really, just not being able to see people and, like, go out and play sports and things like that, do things that we miss, do just stuff that I would do on a weekend, like, just go shopping and things, go into school to see everybody every day. Yeah. Just different, not seeing them face to face. And obviously you two, when you are at school, you're seeing your friends, your teachers, you're getting out of the house. Um, sometimes it is nice to get away from parents and siblings. Um, so now you are doing a lot of online, obviously, schooling and stuff. How are we finding that, girls? It's quite stressful because you don't have your teachers like in the room to ask questions and things. And with online work coming through and homework set as well, it just feels like everything's... Just yes. piled on top of you, really. Yeah, so I'm guessing Zoom's become the norm for you two then recently. Yeah. yeah. Do you see your teachers and other pupils online, or is it just cameras off, just learning? Cameras off, mic off. Oh, so you can't even... <laughs> yeah, so you can't even speak to each other, see each other like we are now? Nope. Um, so... Next... Same every day, log on. Yeah. What, log on, get your work done. Are you managing to get all your the work? The same thing every day, just log on. Yeah. Good. Um, so we've kind of yeah. talked about one yeah. challenge that we're having at the minute, um, obviously homeschooling. What other challenge have you faced during lockdown, Jess? Like, you just like can't do anything. It's like I'm like stuck in the house all the time because you're not allowed to go to school. So it's like you're stuck in the house. It's like you can't even go to like... I don't know, like, go to the park anymore. Like, what, you, what you're used to. You can't, can't go play football, so it's like... Then you've got to adjust that through Zoom, through Google Classrooms and stuff. So you've got to adjust all that to what the new, like, normal is now. Yeah. So when you say Zoom and stuff, is that now become your platform for seeing friends, seeing family doing stuff yeah. yeah yeah so you're definitely both experts on zoom then <laughs> definitely olivia yeah <laughs> what about yourself what challenges have you faced during um and um, just same really like like you said just zoom this zoom that right. what? do you want to do do you want to do a quiz yeah we'll do it over we can't do it face to face or yeah. do you want to play football yeah we'll do it over zoom so now um, seeing family and stuff, has that been a challenge for you? Because I know for myself, that's definitely been a challenge, not being able to just get in my car, go to see family and friends. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, 
Go on, Olivia, sorry. Uh, it's just like the days out with them and stuff. Just like when you plan to go somewhere and then no, you can't because everywhere's shut and you can't go see her. And just things like that. Yeah, so yeah. we've mentioned a few things of how we've overcome our challenges during lockdown, whether it be the first lockdown, second or this lockdown. So you mentioned obviously Zoom. Um, what about keeping in contact with friends and stuff? How are you doing that? Through like either through the Zoom like this or like FaceTime messages. Well, don't really use messages anymore, but either like Snapchat, like social media is the main one. It's like, um, especially with like Snapchat and stuff, it's just easy to just keep in contact with people throughout the day. Um, FaceTiming massive, constantly using that. Um, yeah. All online platforms at the minute then. Um, so what sort of things have you been doing during lockdown to keep you not only physically fit, but mentally fit as well? Olivia, we'll start with you. Um, well, I know we've been going out of the household, going out for walks and things, just as a change of scenery, really. Um, been doing like workouts over Zoom and just things like that, really. Yeah. yeah, I know you two girls have been doing, on the Thursday, you, you join up together on Zoom with your football team. What have you been doing? Do you want to tell us a little bit about that, Jess? What have you been doing? So, um, in, obviously, because normally we have training on a Wednesday, but obviously we can't go do that. So... Um, I came up with this idea. I was just in the garden one day and I was like, why don't I just start doing Zoom sessions? Everyone's in the same situation. They can't go anywhere. They're not doing anything. Um, just set up a Zoom and we'll do a regular weekly basis on a Thursday and we'll just let anger out, everything out from the week. And then you'll just go, right, I'm in my, I'm in my head in football. All that you really need is like cones, footballs, a wall, rebounder, literally anything. And we'll just go from that. So it's like, I'll tell, say, Olivia, I'll tell her to do it. And then she'll do it. Then I'll see how she's doing. Then I'll join in with them. It's like, basically like, basically like doing an online Zoom workout, but football. Because you can't go football, so you may as well use Zoom, use what you've got and put your head into football, get all your anger out throughout the week and just put it into football, like do, what you normally would do on a Wednesday. Do you feel like that helps, Jess, when you're getting out of the house after you've been in there all day doing schoolwork? Do you think it helps kicking the football around? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Olivia, have you been taking part in Jess's football sessions? Yeah, um, Thursday after we finished our works, like Jess said, it's she would give me a task, we'd do it, and then she'd watch me, and then Jess would do it, and we'd like give each other feedback, just at least, just a change of something to do, then other like schoolwork all the time, because that's what it feels like at the moment, just getting out and just playing your favourite bit, doing your favourite thing. That's brilliant. That's absolutely fantastic, girls. Um, right, last question. Um, so do you feel like it's important to, to talk to people about how you're feeling? Um, obviously, especially during lockdown and especially if you are feeling a little bit down and you're not sure why, I think it's important to talk to someone. Yeah. yeah. So why do you think that? What, what can happen from talking to somebody? Well, you just like... Like, basically, it's like a journal, really. Everything that's in your mind, you just speak it out, and then that person will probably be like, oh, you could do this, and then they, they'll they probably say, go out for a walk. Half of the time, if my mum says, I go out for a walk, and say, right, go take, go take dog out for a walk. So I go take dog out for a walk, and I come back, and I'm, and I'm a different Jess. It's just... Just like getting out on your own, yeah. like nobody else, just on your own, just getting out and you come back as a different person. Then you feel like you can talk to people about that as well. 
Yeah. Yeah. Olivia, you, so if I if you were you were feeling down, Olivia, who who would you talk to? Um I could talk to Jess, I know I could talk to you, I could talk to my family. Just anybody that you trust really. Definitely. Or anybody that you like feel comfortable or anything around. Yeah, like I said, we've all we've all got things going on, there is challenges to face, especially at the minute. Uh, but if anyone is experiencing any mental health issues or they're feeling down or they're feeling lonely, there is always someone to speak to. Uh, like Olivia said, speak to someone that you trust um, and that you trust their feedback from. And there is support out there, obviously, to help people. Um, so thank you very much for your time today, girls. Um, I hope soon we're out of lockdown and you two can get back to kicking a ball with each other rather than just on Zoom. Um, and we can get back to some sort of workouts face to face as well. Okay, thank you very much, girls. Okay, so I'm joined today by with Harriet and Violet from Howden Junior School. And Harriet and Violet are going to talk to us about Time to Talk Day, which is on Thursday, the 4th of February, um, and how lockdown has affected um, them as, as uh, children from the school. So, the first question, girls. Um, how has lockdown affected you and your day-to-day -day lives? Um, we haven't been able to be doing the football matches that we were doing at school every day and we haven't been able to play competitive with our teams. We've not been able to see our friends. The only way we can see them is on the meetings. And it was our cousin's birthday today and we couldn't go to his party because of lockdown quite unfortunate yeah okay so question number two what challenges have you faced so this is very similar to what you've just what you've just answered okay but what challenges have you faced during lockdown um well we're, we're doing online school so um when you're sitting in front of a screen all the time it really hurts your head we've been missing competitive matches quite a lot because we've been missing our friends there as well and a lot of our team don't go to our school so the only way we see them is at training or at games so we haven't been able to see them for a while we've also been missing family okay brilliant okay so question number three how have you overcome these challenges so something that you might have done to help you with the answers that you've just given me We've been setting up circuits in the playroom and going on walks every morning. And our teachers have been setting up some off-screen activities so that we can do away from the screen to kind of like relax our brains. I've I've got um, two trainings a week, a technical one in the PPC for York City. And after our work, we usually go on the Switch or Xbox and we can talk to some of our friends on there. We've also been doing the Doncaster over PE for our school. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. And have they helped you keep keep active and trying to get away from yeah. the screen? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Have you used anything different now because you're having to do online learning? So you're using quite a lot of systems on the on the internet and things like that to get your lessons. Uh, yeah, we've been using Google Meet and then we have other websites that can help with spellings or times tables. Okay, so you've had lots of things to learn that you wouldn't normally use in school as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So question number four, what sort of things have you been doing to keep physically active? Uh, we've been going on walks every morning with our dog. And we've been doing different circuits in the playroom sometimes. We've been doing the Doncaster Rover P and Rock Kids. They're like this band where you can like just jam about to their music that they do. Okay. I've got online training for York. Is that like a workout? Are you all on, on like a Zoom call and have you, have you got to do a workout for that? Yeah. Level? We've also got ball skills where we have to get as many as we can and we get stars or we can, however many we do, we can pick a player 
it gets different every week. Oh, does that keep you interacting with your with your teammates then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so the last question: um, if you could give somebody, uh, if you could give some advice to a younger person on how to keep positive and help their mental health, what would it be? To stay positive because the pandemic won't stay forever. And you can phone a friend or talk to someone in your family um, if you're like worried about anything to like help you not think about it. You can also stay active so you, it just goes out of your head so you start thinking about it. Yeah, so you can get outside and try and forget about what's going on in the world. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. We've got uh, Josh, our kicks coach. We've also got our two kicks participants, Ben and Lucas. So today we're going to ask these guys a few questions. How they've been getting on during lockdown? Uh, what they've been doing to keep the tents busy, mentally, physically? Any challenges they have? So yeah, it's just a bit of an open conversation to see how you guys are getting on. So Ben, we're we'll about to start with you. So first question is. Uh, kind of how how has lockdown affected yourself, uh, and what's changed into your like day to day situation? So, are you doing anything different nowadays? Uh, obviously, at school, it's changed a lot. Not being able to see your mates and like online learning, it's re very different. That's about it. To be fair, because I'm used to it. It's third lockdown. It's used to it first two. In terms of the uh, home learning through school, do you finding that? easier or harder or are you kind of getting used to that now uh it's a lot harder because obviously you don't have interaction with the teachers and they can show you how to do it properly but i'm getting used to it now yeah i, yeah, I know what you're saying i guess it's we're in this third lockdown so it's becoming a little bit of normal to you i guess so yeah same with you luke because it's similar i'm guessing to ben or has anything affected you um in your day-to-day -day stuff or is it similar kind of things no, it's more or less the same. Just not being able to have teacher support on that. I do. In terms of if you do struggle with your schoolwork, is is it a case of just saying online or like that? Or can you email teachers? Or what's what's the kind of process to kind of, if you're unsure about anything, is it just there and them on the Zoom call? No, you can, you can email them after and sometimes they'll send you some work back or whatever you need just to go through it again. Yeah, I guess it's, like I say, it's the remote learning is something kind of what you guys have got used to. Uh, in, in terms of yourself, Josh, obviously you've worked for the foundation for a number of years. Um, this is kind of new to you. So is there anything what you've done differently and how you've, you've kind of adapted? Yeah, so uh, you've got to adapt to, it, to the technology side of it. So obviously most of the time we're going into schools with classes like 30 kids. And then we're going from that to going into schools with classes of Six, ten, six to ten kids, um, or doing online, online learning, live, uh, live workouts, stuff like that. So it's all new, but it's um, it's just a, it's like a learning curve. You just you just gotta see how, how it goes, play it, play it by, play it by each day. Definitely, yeah, brilliant. Uh, just, I guess you might have a few in terms of this, but have you have you had to like overcome any challenges? Is it? A, in terms of not seeing your friends or not playing football is anything what you've kind of done to keep kind of this is probably for you first Ben anything you've done to keep yourself obviously mental, mentally active or physically active as well so what kind of have you done to overcome these challenges uh, well to keep in contact with my friends I've been on like PlayStation with them and messaging them all on that and like to keep playing football keep active I've been doing jogs uh, weekly and Sometimes going on field and playing football. You're better than your brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same with you, Luke. Is there anything what what you've kind of done to making sure that obviously you're not stuck in the same four walls each day? I'm guessing it's it's a difficult time really when not getting to see your mates or anything like that. So, what have you done yeah. to kind of overcome them challenges? Just kind of PS4, keep in contact with my mates. All that. I've gone for odd run, been on bike downstairs and that. Just do as much as I can. Well, do you find that if once you've done the exercises, you, you do feel better like, in yourself, uh, Luca? So, for example, if you're stuck in, indoors all day, do you feel a bit, I don't know, does, you, does it do your head in tight thing or do you feel better once you've been for these jogs and stuff like that? Yeah, you, you feel a lot better after it. It's just kind of like a relief to get out of your room and that. So, brilliant.
Practicing with... pra putting his hair. Okay. <laughs> no wrong with a lockdown haircut. <laughs> Same with you, Josh. I know you've yeah. you, you've been to be fair, you've been obviously doing quite a lot quite a lot of stuff with the foundation, but when you're not doing stuff when you've got this time, uh, this free time, have you been doing similar similar or anything different you've been doing to these guys? No, yeah, pretty much I've been going on getting trying to get my fitness levels back up, going on a few runs and stuff like that. Um, doing little bits in 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 our house, um, but other than that, it's pre pretty much the same. And I've my my uh, my weekly routine work wise has not really changed that much. I'm still going into schools um, four days a week, so it, I don't get that much time like at home on furlough or whatever. Um, so I don't actually get that much time to go on a run and stuff like that. So I, I still have to try and squeeze it in the best I can. Well, yeah, it's pretty much the same. I'm not, I'm not, not as I'm as much as what these guys are. Um, so it's not as much as a, of, of a struggle for myself because I know that it's hard to be stuck inside. We were stuck inside the first lockdown. Mm -hmm. um, so these have been doing it. This is the flight the third time now. So, so it might go under your skin a little bit. In, in terms of, this is for you, Ben, first. In terms of the lockdowns and stuff like that, what's the kind of thing you've missed most about n not doing? Is there anything what's really stuck in your mind thinking, that's can't wait to do that again when it comes back round or any, anything like that? Uh, main two things is just going out and playing football with my mates and playing football in general, like training and playing matches. It's It's been hard, but obviously still kept in contact with everyone and still been trying to keep fit and keep active. Yeah, I think that's it, like you mentioned there. You don't realise until something's like taken away from you how much you miss it. Do you know what I mean? You take going to kicks for a game of football, it's, you, you think it's, it's it's guaranteed, but as soon as it's taken away from you, you miss it even more. So, the same with you, Luke. Is, is, it, is it the kind of senior mates or the football side of it, is, or is it going KFC or all like that? What have you kind of missed? Just all of it, really. It's like you're so used to being out with your mates and being able to do certain stuff with your mates, all just stopped, and you can't even go out and see them and all mm. that. Then with football, you get it's like it cuts halfway through a season. You get so into it, and then you just kind of you're disappointed when it's just been cut short. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know, obviously, Josh and myself played kind of Sunday league level and stuff like that. And it's it's not just the football. It's like you say, a bit of banter with your mates and all that kind of stuff. And for for us guys, we're in pub afterwards and all that. And once it's taken away from you, you don't realise. Like we can't wait to get back into it, but like yeah. I say, definitely stuff like is that same, similar to you, Josh? What have you? Yeah, it's the little things that you don't realise they're important to you until until they're like say they're taken away. Like it sounds ridiculous. I'm not having it. This is no go at Lucas. Uh, but say a head, even hairdressers, you go in hairdressers and all of a sudden it's taken away from you. You don't realise how much you actually you actually need hairdressers because you get a couple of week in and your hair starts over. You don't know what to do with it. Little things like that. football, obviously, everyone misses that, whether it's playing yourself or like for me example, I'm a quite a big Donny fan and I've not I've not been able to I've not been able to watch him. I've not been able to watch him this season at all, mm. unless it's on, on iFollow. Um so it's it's that bit that bit's been tricky because we're playing so well, doing so well in the league and I've not been able to see it like Coppinger's last season, not been able to see it. It's mm. it's very difficult. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I've like you mentioned, it's the tiny little things. It's just like I say, going to get an air call. You won't think twice yeah. about that, would you? Last year, it'd just be a normal no, thing. No. Whereas now, it's you, well, you can't do it. To be I fair, I, I think I've only got one or two air cuts left on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'll end up like Lucas, so with this, with this hairdo. Nah, but on just last little bit, then, um, if you had to give any advice to any your mates or anyone younger than you. Um, how to kind kind of keep your positive mental health and stuff like that? What kind of advice would you give somebody if if if, you, if they were struggling and they're thinking, oh, what can I do to make myself feel better in my head? Is there anything what you what you would say to them, Ben? Just keep active because uh, I'm not saying like just run or because I know running's boring. I don't like running, but I still do it. Uh, even walks just to get outside because obviously online is just a lot of screen time. Get your eyes, give your eyes a break from. Uh, screen, get some fresh air, Definitely. keep active. Spot on. Is it similar advice from you, Lucas, would you say? Yeah, just keep doing what you want to do. Just outside, if you cricket, football, whatever you can. Just stay outside as much as you can. It's better for you. Definitely. Josh, how different would you say where you, you kind of, if, if you're speaking to anyone who might be struggling or yeah, any other that... advice? Yeah, don't uh, don't block yourself off. So obviously going on your online lessons, but 
uh, most of the time you sat on your lesson. I don't know. I don't know if this is true, but for what I'm seeing is you sat there, you're doing work, you don't interact as much. Um, I know you are see, you are seeing your classmates, but you're not. It's not like you're seeing the environment. You're not in your classroom um, doing things you might do in a classroom. Um, and then you're going off, and then you might not message anyone. You might be in your room all the time doing nothing. Try don't cut yourself out. Still message your friends if you've got. Say if you are on Xbox or PlayStation. Like, I know it sounds ridiculous, but go on. Like speak to go on with your mates. Speak to your mates. Don't like don't, don't like. Don't be on your own. As as much as you have to be on your own, don't be on your own. <laughs> like, no, you no, can definitely. still there's still other ways that you can you can speak to people whether it's whether it's like on your phone or on your games and stuff like that. Yeah, I think you're a bit nail on. That's spot on. To be fair, it's like I've got a few friends who I might not have seen for a while, but you can ring them each. You know what I mean? A couple of times a week, just have a catch up yeah. and stuff like that. And I think exactly. nowadays technology with FaceTime or even just as a chat, I think it's it's yeah. nice to know that. They might be struggling what you don't know. So if you give them a ring, you might not have heard them yeah. for, for a while. Just give them, give them a ring and they might even appreciate if, that. Even if it's just a plan summit, that, you, that might not even happen. You might, you might say, oh, tell you what, look at this. A few months, you might be out of it. You, you could even just look, just to build someone else's confidence up. We'll be out of this. We'll be able to, for, on our, in, if for our sake, Mark might ring you up and say, like, end of this, two months, we might go out, have a few drinks, have a catch up because we've not done that in a while. And then it just, it, obviously, I could say it to you, but even if it's with you two, you could say, go out and have a game of football, we'll get all, all the boys together again, have a kick about. Just little things like that boost people, boost everyone's morale just a little bit. Definitely. Like you say, I think if it's nice to look forward to something. Keep, yeah, in my exactly. head, I'm, I'm expecting come end of the season, we're getting a few fans in Rovers, in Rovers, we're to get promoted to championship. That's the kind of dream where you never know, hopefully it could happen. But like I say, if you've got something to look forward to, yeah, it's not all doom and uh, doom and gloom, is it? I guess when you think think like that. So yeah, that's yeah, wise, wise words there, Josh. Sure, no, but that's about it. Yeah, appreciate that. Obviously, it's good. Obviously, we're not at kicks at the minute. It's good to k- kind of see how you guys are getting on and what you're doing to obviously keep active and stuff like that. And we'll record. Obviously, we can send this recording and hopefully you guys can give you give some good advice to the other young people who might be struggling. But yeah, appreciate that. So Ben, uh, Lucas, thanks very much, Josh.